Welcome to the Thriving Solopreneur Show, where you learn the stories and systems that have turned hardworking, self-employed business owners like yourself into highly successful, leisurely entrepreneurs. This show is dedicated to those who went into business for themselves because they had an idea or suggestion that ignited their passions to do more, to do it better, and to solve a problem in our community. Whether your business started in a basement, a garage, or at a kitchen table, this episode will bring to you a system, a tip, or an entrepreneur that has been where you are and can guide you to living the fulfilling life you desire for yourself. Here's your host and serial solopreneur, Janine Bolin. Welcome to the Thriving Solopreneur Show, and this is Janine Bolin. I just wanted to chat with you a little bit today about is your business feeding you? Many times when we first get into business, we go into it for one particular reason, and then things start to go south. We start having bad days. We're having difficulty with cash flow. Things start getting to a point where we just want to rip our hair out. And that's when I like to talk to my clients and say, why are you in business? So one of the best things you can possibly do if you're just starting out in business is to sit down and write out, even if it's like a journal entry, why are you going into business? Now with my clients, I have found that there are three primary reasons people go into business. The first one is they have a passion or they have a purpose that is so strong and so inspired, they can't imagine not doing it. Okay. So for some people, they are so passionate about it. They have to give up the day job and they have to go into business for themselves. And we try to work out a exit strategy so that they can do that f- with financial responsibility. The other one is, is sometimes people have been sitting deep in meditation of some form or another, and all of a sudden they're hit with what I like to call the lightning bolt. This is the same thing that happens to you when you're in the shower and you're sitting there kind of minding your own business, washing your hair, and the next great idea hits you. That's another reason people go into business is because an idea, a thought has come to them that is so outside of their normal realm, they just know they need to pursue it. The best thing is the slow grower, though. That is one of those, it kind of sneaks up on you where you get into business because you have a passion or a purpose, but it was like a slow growing desire that all of a sudden, the next thing you know, you're standing in front of a small tree and you're like, oh my gosh, I should go into business for myself. (laughs) This is another way. So when we really start digging into why are you in business for yourself, realize that one of the primary reasons is because of some passion or purpose. That's kind of the first area or demographic of clients that I have. The second one is someone has invented something. Now, you may not think you're an inventor, but let me clarify what I mean for an inventor. Some people think that in order for you to be an inventor, you have to come up with sliced bread or the disposable razor or a better mousetrap. It has to be something really physical. Well, did you ever consider yourself as an author? Did you write a book? that you have invented something. That book did not exist. You invented that book. So I want you to start seeing yourself not only as an author, but also an inventor. Well, let's talk about online course creators. Okay, if you have built an online course, you're an inventor. That course didn't exist before you got your hands on it. You have invented something. Okay, the next one that's easier for a lot of us to understand is if you're an artist of some kind, are you sculpting things? Are you doing stained glass? Are you working with sculpting? These are another area that you can definitely say you have invented something that did not go before. Same thing with music and some other niche form of art or creativity. So realize that as a business owner, you are a creative and start making sure that your business is feeding you in that way as well. If you are going to be a solopreneur and you're going to thrive, there are several ways your business needs to feed you, and it's not just the money. Now, let's talk about that third thing, all right? There are three types of reasons that people go into business or three demographics that seem attracted to my work, and that is you have a passion or purpose. The second one is they invent, you invented something and you want some help building that up. And the third thing is you're part of a direct marketing firm 
or you wanted to make a little extra money on the side and a side hack you got into was an MLM or a multi-level marketing firm or a direct marketing firm, right? Some examples of that are like Mary Kay, Send Out Cards, Juice Plus, Arbonne, doTERRA, Young Living, and Avon, just to name a few. Now, one of the things about MLMs is they are so perfect for people who have never gone into business for themselves before, and they decide they want to make a little extra money, they feel passionate about a product or a service that the company is offering, and it also keeps them connected with people. So in that arena, please realize, is your business feeding you? And there are three areas you need to make sure your business is feeding you so that you can truly thrive as a business owner. So once you've sat down and figured out why you were in business, whether it was because you had a passion or a purpose, because you invented something, or you wanted a, a, a business on the side for whatever, whatever reason that was, let's just say money, or you wanted a little extra income so you could do things you wanted to, that these three reasons are perfectly legitimate reasons for going into business. Now, how does your business need to feed you? Well, there's the very practical thing is if you are not making a profit if you are not making money, then you are not in business. Now, I know that sounds really brass tacks, right? That is just basic business building. However, you will be amazed at how many clients come to me who are horrifically in debt. They're not making any money. They don't have cash flow. And yet they say they're in business. And I'm like, no, you're not. You're not in business because you don't have any money coming in. Okay, so you have to have money coming in to be a business. All right. The second thing that is important that your business feed you is that you bounce out of bed almost every morning ready to go. If you stop being energized and excited by your business, something must change. This is usually when I sit down with my statements from the previous month and I see how I'm doing and I start making changes based on how I'm feeling about my business. If I'm not feeling really good about my business, I stop working. Yes, that's correct. I stopped working because I have to go for a walk. I have to go engage in some other way. Most of the time, it's nature for me. I have to go out into nature, get away from my business. And usually I'm inspired to move in another direction. And that is a way my business feeds me. It has to feed me emotionally. It has to feed me fiscally with good quality money so that I can pay the bills. And the third thing is I had better be helping people. The reason I got into business was I knew I had a lot of knowledge between my ears and I wanted to help people learn from my mistakes and make different mistakes. Does that make sense? So I've known I've always going to be a teacher. And so I got into course creation and I got into writing books. So I hope this has been helpful for you for today. Sit down today, take maybe 10, 15 minutes tops, write down why am I in business, and then look at it as, is it because of a passion or purpose? Is it because you invented something or you created something? Or is it because you just wanted a side hack to make a little extra money so you could have do something with the grandkids? You know, there's a lot of people doing that sort of thing. And so figure out that why. And then once you figure out that why, the next question you write down at the top of your paper is, is my business feeding me? Is it feeding me financially? Is it feeding me creatively with my heart, with my passion? And is it feeding me to where I am helping those people that I wanted to serve when I got into that business? Because face it, as a business owner, you're a leader. You're inspiring someone with your business. And it is your responsibility to stay in that mode of service because we are leader service professionals or service leader professionals, however you want to flip that around. So today, take that 10 to 15 minute and answer those questions at the top of your paper and make sure you stay in the correct mode so that you stay a thriving solopreneur. Because if you're not making a profit, you can't keep creating. So make sure you're making the money, make sure you're keeping your costs low, and make sure you don't forget why are you in business? Have a great day. 
Thank you for listening to the Thriving Solopreneur Show. We hope you found this episode helpful and uplifting. Be sure to visit us at JanineBolin.com forward slash podcast, where you'll find a library of videos, books, and podcast programs to guide you to the future you envision for yourself. We also ask that you visit our sponsor, The8Gates.com, for the books and online courses that share with you the debt-free living lifestyle that allows business owners like yourself to flourish. Have a great day, and see you next time.